everyone and welcome back today i am actually going to do like a talk through get ready with me type of video where i try out some new products i have enough to do a full face but i've decided to just do a couple of new things just to ease my way into it so i don't use up all my new products at once uh so obviously there are some things here i've used before there are some things i haven't and there's a few things i have that i have only like started using within the past week so i'm still getting my bearings for them so if you guys are interested then let's just jump straight into it i already washed my face with my charcoal cleanser i moisturized underneath and around my eyes with the sukin antioxidant eye serum eye cream which i have been loving and i moisturized my face with the clean and clear essentials moisturizer so those products are done and soaked in my face is a bit red today because i didn't wash my face till about 20 minutes ago and it is quarter to one at the moment so when my oil starts coming through stuff like that that's when my face starts to get a little bit I think that is a little bit better because it's it's really like cloudy but it's also super bright today so I think that's slightly better if my fringe looks a bit off it's because I trimmed it the other day myself and part of it has gone I have a cowlick under like this part right here so it makes everything else look like the middle part look a bit shorter but whatever so I'm going to be doing some like color correcting stuff today as well. Trying a few techniques and things I haven't done before. Stuff like that. So I hope you guys are going to be interested. So the first thing is I'm going to try the tape method on my eyes. This is the only tape I have. I'm pretty sure it's the only tape I have. So I'm going to try and see if this will stick to my face. Normally it doesn't. So... I'm going to see how well this sticks to my face. And I have to cut it with scissors because this is just like the cheapest thing on the planet and the little blade fell out. But cut some and see if it... I might do one eye at a time. I might do this eye on camera for you and go off and do this one so that it's a little bit easier. So I'm not like crying from both eyes. Because this feels really funny right now. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I've had to stir this again. I actually bought another one. It's in my drawer right now, but I have another one. Like, uh, This one has lasted me for two and a half years nearly. Or just over two and a half years. So I think that's pretty damn good. This isn't really going to be colours or a certain look that I haven't done before. It's just testing some new techniques and things that I haven't really done before so i'm going to be using two palettes that i have used all the time the cat d and my anastasia self-made because i'm trying out some new brushes today these are the brushes that i have i have some new eye brushes i bought these from wish and i think they look amazing so these eye brushes i will be taking to my dad's um if i need to be so i'm going to be testing them out today to see how well they work so the first one is this great big fluffy brush I'm actually just going to use this to set my eye primer first and I'm actually going to use the matte uh, the matte white in this palette so here this one's more it's got almost like a hint of a shimmer but I'm going to use this matte white here normally I use this shade but I've hit paint on that pretty bad and you can always get a matte white in like every palette so and also because the matte white will just give my eye primer a bit more of a like paler look, so to say. Now I'm going to do a bit of a warmer look today because I haven't done a huge like really, really red warm look lately. So I'm going to take the peachy transition shade on the same brush and just put that in my crease. So far, this brush is making everything blend very well. I've only done my transition shade, but this is like the most fluffy I will go with. I usually use, um, for, for this type of transition colour, I normally use like the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. It's the really dense one because my eyes absolutely hate really fluffy brushes for some reason. Um, my 
eyeshadows that never blend and it doesn't matter if it's my affordable ones high-end ones whatever even like bronzer won't blend in my crease like on my face in general i need slightly denser brushes in order to be able to make anything blend so yeah but this brush seems to be doing fairly well it's nice and soft and it's blending that shade out beautifully like nothing is looking patchy it's not skipping it looks really nice i'm sorry if you can hear like the cars and stuff outside too but i need to have my window open because it's too hot with the heaters on everywhere now these are the brushes that really i am sort of a bit skeptical about using you can see the brush the bristles are super super long then they're, they're super flimsy they seem to be really like soft these feel good quality but it's just the fact of the bristles are like super flimsy whether or not they will blend product on my eyes so i'm going to this is the like most flimsy this is the middle one and this is the most dense so i'm going to start with the really flimsy one to see if this will blend product if it does i'm going to be amazed but these brushes are super super soft they feel amazing all of them feel amazing um i've washed them they haven't shed and i love the black and the rose gold i deliberately chose the black and the rose gold because at my dad's house my room is like black white and rose gold so these fit in perfectly but i'm going to try this and i'm going to start using the red shade in this palette so i probably should be using a bigger like brush but i can blend it up higher so i'm going to pick up some of the red shade tap some of it off the only thing i don't like is the fact that these bristles are all white if i did say blue or purple um most of my like blue and purple shades for some unknown reason seem to stain my brushes so like i probably would not use like my bright bright colors with these because like i said they stain and oh my god this is working actually working i'm super amazed because nothing ever works i'm zooming gonna zoom you guys in so i meant to zoom you guys in and i forgot but this is actually making my color blend i'm super super amazed because that has never really happened to me ever before i'm just going to go back in and put some of the orange at the top because i want it to look orange i don't want it to just look red that makes sense my camera for some reason is making things not look as blended as what it actually is i just i just don't get why it looks like that but it does apparently okay so i'm going to put that brush up for a little bit and i'm going to use the slightly smaller denser fluffy brush and i'm going to pick up the brown that's just here and i'm going to concentrate this more just like on my outer corner out here i might blend it into my crease just a little bit just to make it look blended but mostly concentrating this on my outer corner these brushes literally feel like heaven on my eyes it's incredible they are so soft okay so that looks beautiful now i actually have this like fluffy pencil brush and i'm going to take a little bit of the black and just sort of smudge it almost like it's eyeliner because i don't want to wear actual eyeliner today but i still want to have that like look so now there's this really small eyeshadow brush and it seems to be fairly stiff i'm going to see if i can sort of do like a mini half cut crease in my eye here ish i just need to make sure the base of my eyeshadow is like dark enough um i'm going to cut that out with my mac paint pot because it's the only damn thing that works on my eyes so i'm going to see if this brush works i'm gonna have to bring my mirror closer so i can see what i'm doing and it worked that actually worked a hell of a lot better than half of my other brushes and stuff so that's incredible that was super easy compared to some of my other brushes and stuff i've had to try and use that was just a regular pencil brush a uh, pencil regular eyeshadow brush shape i'm going into my anastasia self-made palette and i'm going to use treasure 
on my lid. Packing this on dry, I want it to be shimmery but not over the top. I actually have this little flat one I'm going to try and smudge my eyeliner on with that instead. I just want it like on the outer part of my lashes just so I can make my lashes look a little bit fuller. So I'm not going to be wearing falsies today because I'm testing out a mascara. Rightio, both eyes are done and I honestly don't think I could have got those angles to match any better. Considering I didn't even bother to look at this eye when I was putting it on, I just put it on and it worked. So now I'm getting more into the colour correcting part and I'm going to use my Stila One Step Correct Face Primer. I was going to use my Australis Green one because really at the end of the day I only need a green primer. But it makes my face look so dry and at the moment while it's winter and my face is drier I just can't risk that so I like this Stila one a bit more and it's also slightly more smoothing so yeah. slightly more hydrating so I just this one was just better for me to use today like overall so there we go Brushes actually performed really, really well. I'm super, super impressed. Um, I will definitely be using these again. And I may even order a set to keep here as well because they are beautiful. Beautiful. They worked super soft. Not a single one that I used was scratchy. It's just perfect. I also cleaned up underneath my eye because I had some of the um, shimmery shade fall off down here. Things like that. So... I'm just going to go wet my beauty blender and I will be right back. Rightio, so my beauty blender pro is wet. Now I'm going to move on to my face. I never, ever, ever put mascara on before I do any of my face makeup. The other day, I think in a tutorial, no, I didn't end up uploading it, but I put my falsies on before I did my face and I hate it. If I hit my lashes while I'm putting my, like, bronzer and stuff on, it's just the worst. So... I don't like doing that so that's why I, I always do my lashes last because I hate the feeling of hitting them it's just horrible to me I'm going to go in with another color corrector as well because the Stila one doesn't fully correct and my face is super red today so this is the pop feel HD green concealer I freaking hate the actual skin tone concealer in this green counteracts red so I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheek some on my chin because I have all this scarring over here. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting any on my nose. I just little bits over these areas. So that's all I'm going to do. But this one is like super skin like, really nice finish on the skin. Doesn't make my face look super duper dry. Um, things like that. So yeah, but I have to work fairly quickly because it dries pretty fast. Whatever's left over, I'll put a bit on my nose. Counteracts my face, and I don't really care how patchy or anything it looks underneath because usually the foundations I put on top cover it really well anyway. It's just to minimize the redness so I don't have to use as much foundation. Now I'm going to use my foundation. I'm not going to bother with my forehead. A, it's not really that super red. And B, my fringe covers it, so I'm not that into color correcting my forehead. Today I'm using my Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is in 100 Ivory and I was looking at Target this morning. They have one that's like 10 light porcelain or something. So I have never seen that shade before. So once this is empty, I'm going to buy that one. They also have the same shade in the 25 hour lasting finish one. So I know that shade will match me a hell of a lot better than this. So... I'm going to buy those shades afterwards because not even the freaking price line has those ones. But this is a beautiful foundation and I just haven't used it in so long. So I thought I would. It just gives the most beautiful skin-like appearance I think I've ever seen on a foundation. It just looks beautiful. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on this cheek because it's just... My scars are out to play today and I don't like it, so I'm covering them up. This foundation's a bit dark, but once I put my powder on, it's going to match, so I don't bother. 
Okay, so now this is where I'm going to try the new technique, so to say. I have been looking for an orange color corrector underneath my eyes for ages, but just haven't picked one up. So I'm going to try to use a little bit of this NYX lipstick underneath my eyes. This is a super creamy, hydrating, dewy lipstick. This is one of the high voltage ones in the color tan. I'm hoping just applying a little bit of this underneath my eyes, right where my real darkness is, will actually help. So as you can see, underneath my eyes are pretty bad at the moment. They are absolutely terrible. I don't think under my eyes have been this bad since I was like 13 or something. So just putting a bit there and blending it out like this. I'm just hoping I can put my concealer over the top. I don't really like this lipstick for an actual lipstick. I find the color looks a bit funny on me. So I don't care if I keep this as my color corrector um, because all the color correctors like Maybelline has one, but it's like way too, it seems way too dark. So yeah, I thought this would be one of the better concealers for me to use because it's not drying and it's not matte. So I thought it might hydrate under my eyes a little bit more. This could either be an amazing thing or a total freaking disaster. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer today because this is in the Brightener shade, which is the very pink toned. And I'm hoping that the pink tones in this will help cover under my eyes. I put a little bit of this on the sides of my nose, chin, and actual nose as well, just to balance it out. Make my foundation look a little bit paler. This will also help my foundation look like it matches. That looks really good. Like under my eyes doesn't even look that like horrible. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look to be like really patchy like my concealers often go. Like this concealer is really nice, but it often looks really dry also I haven't said it yet once I said it that will be the true test so far so good I can still see some of my darkness coming through but I'm hoping my powders will sort it so I'm going in with my normal powders today my Meichu white one and Australis banana and my like angled foundation brush thingy pointed one whatever you call it okay now that's not looking the best sides of my nose because this brush can get down in the sides of my nose better it looks really nice from a distance up close it's gone back to looking a little bit textured and dry but it's actually not as bad as what it normally is so i'm hoping that once i have the rest of my makeup on or even put a setting spray on i'm hoping it will sort it out and it'll look a little bit better. People would say that's like the worst their foundation, their concealers ever looked, but that's actually not as bad as what mine looks like most of the time. Over the rest of my face, I'm just using my e.l.f. tone correcting powder because this is nice and smooth and it just looks beautiful. And it can help lighten my foundation a tad. And also because it's color correcting, so the green pigments will help cover any extra redness, the yellow and the blue, reduce like the cello looking stuff, pink will brighten. And now my concealer is just looking straight up bad right now. It's like actually, yeah, creasing a lot more, stuff like that. I'm going to go just do my brows very quickly and I'm doing the ABH brow pomade but I bought the color blonde so I'm going to use this first uh, and I bought a new eyebrow brush this one I am taking to my dad's I just wanted to see if this is one that will work this one is a fake one of the Tarte one so this is my normal Tarte eyebrow brush I use all the time this one is a fake one that I bought on Wish I didn't even care that it looks like the Tarte one. I just bought it because it has a spoolie on one end and a brush on the other. I don't really use expensive stuff anymore. Like in terms of brushes, I don't really see the point. Um, I just bought this. It has thicker 
bristles so I'm just going to see if this works. Um, this pomade I know it works, it's just a little bit too light but I put a powder over the top so I really only use this like three times. The bristles on this one are way too thick. I am going to leave my brows as they are but at the conclusion of this I have decided this brush is okay for putting powder on just not near my tail because the bristles are too thick. This one I'm going to have to work with a bit more. I think if I had a um, big more like pigmented pomade like if I didn't need to use the blonde color it would be alright if I had a darker pomade um, because the blonde really really shows where I'm missing the hairs. So these are okay, just not the best. So I did end up having to use my normal tart brush and this plain angled brush like to put the powder on my tail because what happens is, especially because this pomade, I've only just started using it, it's extra creamy, I will end up the eyeshadow or powder that I use will end up mixing in with it and sort of create like a darker pomade so yeah normally if I was going to like travel or something I would use like I would take my elf brow kit and use the powder from that in it but yeah just my brows turned out okay I managed to salvage them but uh we're not going down that route again I actually have two bronzers here this one I literally only picked up this morning haven't even touched this one I've used like a couple of times um, I'm thinking of using the Rimmel one because I haven't used it before and it's slightly darker so this is the Rimmel Sun Shimmer bronzer in medium matte I got this because it was on like an extra half price type of sale this is normally like $14 and I got it for like $3.30 something so there's that and I have the Maybelline Fit Me in medium, but this is like really light. And because I got such a dramatic look on today, I might use the Rimmel bronzer. Also because I haven't actually ever used this before. Ideal for an instant natural sun-kissed look. So I might use this because it's slightly darker, slightly more dramatic on my face. It looks a bit more red than the Maybelline one. It's a bit more golden. And I'm going to use my little Bare Minerals mini flawless face brush i mentioned in my last month's favorites that i wasn't overly impressed with this brush but since i've washed it even more a couple of times it's like even softer and amazing so i'm going to stop talking and apply some of this bronzer i'm just going to use a little bit at a time and build it up because i don't know what it's going to look like on my face i don't know how it's going to blend stuff like that this brush stinks though, like no matter how much I wash it, I can't get rid of that chemical smell. It's looking nice. I like the colour. It is a bit red um, in the pan, but it's not coming off as like intense on my face. Okay, so it's removed a little bit of the coverage from here, but I think it's just this brush because it's more of a natural hair type brush. I'm going to put some on my forehead today. I don't normally, but whatever. I want to see the overall look on my skin. The reason it looks darker on this side because it always hi every bronzer always highlights my contour on this side, but this side it doesn't. I have um, slightly more fluid around this side of my jaw, so I think that's why. Maybelline one's nice, but because it is such a nice light golden colour, I find it just... Sometimes doesn't give me that dramatic bronze that I like, so I'm very impressed with that Rimmel one right now. The blush, I'm going to use my normal brush, and I'm just going to go in with a Rimmel, br a Rimmel blush today. This is my blush in Pink Rose. This is literally the one that just lives in my like everyday makeup drawer because it's the one I use when I don't know what colour to use. It goes with everything, it looks nice with everything, so I haven't found... A combo or a look that it doesn't look nice with yet so I just did my lower lash line in a corner and brow bone on this eye so I can just show you on this one so I have my large pencil brush here and I'm taking the orange uh, transition shade and I'm just really blending this out under my eye now I'm just going to take this flat eyeshadow brush it's like a giant one it's the only one I had that was clean that I wanted to use and some of the red <sighs> And I'm going to put that closer to my lower lashes. Now I actually ended up wiping the black off this little 
like flat edge one and I'm going to take a bit of the brown and put that literally on my lashes. So this brush set came with like two of these like little really skinny angled brushes. I have no idea what to do for these except for possibly carving out the brows or my brow bone highlight. So that's what I'm using this for. And I am just taking my ABH Starlight Highlighter for the moment and putting that on my brow bone. Now I can put some highlighter on my face. I always, always like to do my brow bone highlights first um, for some reason. And I'm going to mix together my Anastasia Starlight and my Mary Luminizer. This has been my absolute favorite highlighter combo for the past like two weeks. I use mostly the Starlight, but I put a bit of the Mary Luminizer on the top just to tone down the white particularly because my foundation's a bit dark i don't want to be putting just like a stark white highlighter on my face but this is beautiful sometimes i mix more of the white more of the mary luminizer it just depends but it just it's one of the only combos that looks truly smooth on my face that i own there we go i'm not going to bother with my forehead because again my fringe covers it i'm not wasting product when my fringe covers it thank you bird now I actually have this like really like just flat top blending brush. I have no idea what to use this for. So I'm going to use it for my inner corners because the little like green one I was using was just like too much of a natural haired bristle and it was making everything look funny. So I mixed together this cream shade with the matte white. I use the slightly shimmery one, especially if my inner corner is looking even the slightest bit dry, textured, creasy, whatever it makes it look worse so these shades i really blend down into my concealer because it just really like opens up my eyes and tries to brighten them up even though it doesn't really work because i've given up on trying to save my under eyes sometimes because it just looks worse and worse and worse no matter what i freaking do but i try now's the fun part i'm going to try another mascara I'm opening my Lacura Beauty Mascara. This is the Minerals one. I actually have my Urban Decay one on hand if this turns out to be a total dud. But this basically looks and sounds like it is supposed to be a dupe for the L'Oreal, like the Million Lashes one. I bought it in black. Flexible brush, amplifies lashes, transforms the look of your lashes with one coat. It works evenly to coat and separate the lashes for a dramatic look, formulated with beeswax to prevent smudging and keeping lashes healthy. So I'm just going to open this because I've had it for so long. The tube actually feels really nice. I love the rose gold. I love rose gold. This is in black, yes. I'm still going to use my waterproof one on my lower lashes, but yeah. Uh-huh. This is definitely supposed to be a dupe of the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. When I first started wearing makeup and I wasn't into like full on collecting it, I had several tubes of that and I actually did quite like it. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely supposed to be a dupe. My lashes don't even look like that's mascara that's on them. Look at their difference. This is just that mascara. Mightn't be the hugest difference, but they literally don't even look like there's mascara on my eyes. It looks like my lashes are like that naturally. So that looks really nice. The brush is definitely like brushing through my lashes. I can feel it. I'm going to put a tiny bit of my white eyeliner on my waterline. Just because my eyes have been looking a bit yellow lately and using all these like warm oranges and that sometimes makes them look yellow even more. So sometimes having that like bit of white eyeliner on my waterline can like separate the colours. Doesn't make my eyes look as yellow. The last thing to finish off this look is the lips and I actually have a Colourpop um, Ultra Matte Lip. I freaking love this colour. I've only used it twice but it's amazing.
So there we go. That is the end of this video and the end of this look. I actually really like it. I'm super impressed with how it turned out and um, things like that. The Everything pretty much I liked except for using that concealer underneath my eyes. But since I've blended the eyeshadow down there and put like um, eyeshadow on my inner corners and stuff, it doesn't look as bad. Under my eyes still look textured and you can still see the creases on my under my eyes. But I try to hide that with eyeshadow. So it's not as bad, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Uh, but it has helped with the coverage of my concealer a little bit. Um, I just wouldn't do it again. I'd probably buy a colour corrector that's actually supposed to be for under the eyes. Um, the eyeshadow brushes I think are beautiful. There's a couple of them that I just think are a little bit iffy this angled one I'm not sure what I would use it for um, probably either just to use as like carving out the cut crease lower lash line or putting powder on my brows um, the rest of them are okay I think I'm going to get a very I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this like um, squared off little flat one that is going to get a lot of use but the rest of them were super soft everything blended really nicely with them I'm super impressed uh, what else did I try? The mascara. The mascara was great. Really nice. Uh, the bronzer. I love the colour of the bronzer. It's not too much, but at the same time I could use a denser brush to make it look a little bit more intense. Uh, I was actually meaning to try this concealer instead, but I forgot to pick that up. And this lip product I really like. So I was just testing out a few things. I really wanted to use those brushes and I'm super impressed that I bought them. So thank you for watching. Please check out my description box down below for all of my social media sites and the products that I used. Hit the subscribe button which is in the corner down there. That would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.